When you look at this enticing painting by Jamil Naksh, you notice the colors first. The deep red core occupying the center of the image like a pulsing heart, the cooling blues and yellows surrounding it, and the outer charcoal black that seems to settle from above like fossilized sediment. The painting builds up a collage-like effect, expressing Naksh's interest not only in the expressive possibilities of paint, but also in the accumulation of layers, a metaphor for time itself. An image of a bull stands amid the tumult of the painted surface, defiant and strong, looking directly at you. An object of worship in ancient cultures, the bull became a powerful symbol for its strength and fertilizing power. Across the world, from east to west, the bull has been both worshipped and the subject of symbolic rites in which the animal is defeated or sacrificed. Merged in with the dissected planes of Naksh's painting is also a giant fish. It hovers above the bull, twice the size of the bovine animal. The emblems of the bull and the fish ought to broaden our gaze for a moment to consider the wider series of paintings to which this image belongs. This painting is from the series titled Fisher Woman of My Mohenjo-Daro. Naksh's series references the important archaeological site discovered in 1922 in the province of Sindh, Pakistan. Built in around 2500 BCE, this venerable city was one of the largest settlements of the ancient Indus Valley. The aquatic motif captures Naksh's perception that the primary occupation of the people of Mohenjo-Daro was to hunt for fish. Furthermore, among the visual artifacts found at Mohenjo-Daro were several thousand hand-carved seals, viewed as the most characteristic objects made by the Indus people, that depicted animals including fish and bulls, as well as rhinoceros, elephants, and even unicorns. And so, one of the many pleasures of exploring a painting such as this is the unraveling encounter between the ancient and the modern. Drawing on these cultural connections, Naksh's series, made late in his life, became one of his most important personal projects. For all its symbolic possibilities, the painting is also a visual adventure. The forms within the image splinter into layered rock-like formations, not unlike an archaeological site, with the coarse brushwork adding a vibrancy of texture. Naksh's nod to cubist constructions give way at various points to the suggestion of forms, most obviously in the depiction of the bull and fish in the center. As with many of Naksh's works, the painting is made up of bands of color, which may be a natural function of landscape painting, but also something the artist turns into a painterly opportunity. Like mosaics, the scatter of shapes are at ease with their irregular edges and crystalline forms. The resulting constructions are not definitive, but probing and experimental in their meaning. The alchemy of my art, Naksh had said previously, lies in the understanding that part cannot be different from whole, and the whole cannot have anything but love for its parts.